up fam so I'm about to go to work and then I'm gonna hit the gym but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been weighing on my mind and I've been seeing a lot of it lately especially throughout um, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter kinda kinda poking fun kinda really and I don't know how to say it but it's like people make these memes about how oh you know I rep my own brand hard and this and that basically making fun of people who you know rep their own brand and you know care about their shit and it kinda makes me mad because I mean repping your own brand and not selling out to the bigger brands out there and especially in the fitness industry um, there there's there's oppor yes opportunity when it when it knocks um, you don't always have to answer it you can always hold out and wait for a better opportunity but if you feel like that's the opportunity for you then by all means go for it if it's gonna you know bring you further goal but know your worth guys know exactly what you are repping and know exactly what your morals and your integrity are worth so I mean I got my shirt on here I wear you know I have a bunch of these shirts and if you see me out and you want one of these I just I carry them in the back of my car and I give them out to people because I don't care I'll rep the fuck out of this this is, you know, CB Fit, it might just be on some shirts and it might be, you know, my YouTube channel, but that's the thing about it is it's yours, guys. You you created it. It's yours and nobody can take that away from you. And that's what I feel is is pretty special about repping your own brand and people who hate are either sellouts or they're jealous that they don't obviously have their own, you know, thing to to rep out and it it's a shame that people have to hate on others who are trying to do their own thing and make their own lane it, it's kinda like people in the fitness industry that follow the, the kinda like the same path and just because somebody wants to you know venture off and do their own thing it, it doesn't mean that you should start hating people for it making fun of them my channel has like 700 and something subscribers and that might not be a lot and I might just have some t-shirts but you know it's mine and you can't take that away from me and you know nobody else has put the time and effort in to build it up from the from the ground and that's 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 where the you know the meaning and the trust and the belief you know you have to believe in yourself to really push this not really push it on people but you know push it to the best of your ability where you know you're proud to rep your own thing and you know do your own thing make your own lane go your own separate path and that's that's really what I'm about people who will message you ask you to be clothing you know apparel ambassadors or whatever and some sort of percentage off for selling their their stuff and that's fine if that's what you want to do but don't hate on people that are trying to do their own thing and start up their own brand because it, it makes you look bad and it makes everybody look bad in the industry. Small time YouTubers out there, it's hard for us to, to progress when we have these kind of like bigger names hating down on us because we're starting to do our own thing and, and starting to rep our own brand and trying to come up with, with different ways out of the the usual you know we out of the ordinary because it's all about being extraordinary just kind of breaking the mold of going the same way that everybody else goes and it, it, it's just sad really it, it's sad and I'll tell people straight up I don't give a fuck like I'll rep CB fit the one thing about the one thing I can say about CB Fit is that it's mine. I designed the logo with some help from some friends and you know it was my idea to start this whole thing. I spent my own money, my own personal funds on these shirts and getting them started up and fee and all that. 
I give them to people because I'm trying to get my name out there and I like the style of these shirts and whatever it they're just shirts but the point is that they're mine anybody who wants to rep these that's 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 awesome and like I said I keep them in the back of my car for anybody who sees me I'll be like oh hey you want one whatever um, but that's just some of the things that that we have to do in order to get our name out there without selling out it was your idea to start it or you and your partner's idea you came up with all the, with the logo and you made the shirts or the hats or whatever and that and that's yours and that's important because one, nobody can take that away from you unless you were to sell the rights of you, that you have. You sell the rights to somebody else, which is obviously selling out for some kind of cash price, which you could never get me to do because morally I just I don't believe in that. And I would rather go trying to take CB Fit to the top rather than just dump it off and go and join some huge BPI or whatever, which, I don't know, it, like I said, if that's your thing, that's fine, but just don't hate on people who are trying to do their own thing. Because I've been seeing that a lot lately, the memes being made, um, and yeah, I get it, everybody has a, has a fitness channel and whatever, but, I mean, don't knock it, because... Who knows? It could end up blowing up and, you know, you could be the one sitting back being a hating ass troll because it's easy to be a hater, guys. It's easy to hate on other people because you don't got to do anything. You can sit your ass on the couch and hate on somebody. It's easy to be a hater. So don't be a hater, guys. Be a fucking warrior. Peace. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Ten years from now, they gonna be asking how they slept on this. Fuck my manners, man. Some